and welcome to a very random car park in London where I have had the honour of being invited down by Jaguar to sit in the car and have one of the very first drives of the new Jaguar I-Pace. So I'm going to hop in with some of the development team to find out what it's all about. Let's hit it. All right, here we are inside the Jaguar I-Pace concept and here with me I have Sandy from Jaguar. And your role is? Um, advanced Design Chief for Jaguar Interiors. So you're the guy who has been overly responsible for how beautiful it looks in here. Yes, yeah, my, me and my team, obviously. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Fabulous. Well, so today I've had the honor of being invited down to experience this car driving. Uh, we are aware that it is in, still in its concept stage. Um, but to kick things off, start it going. So, to dive right in, what are you most proud of? Um, I, I just think the whole concept really. You know, this is the first time we've had the chance to do an electric vehicle and show our premium luxury vision for Jaguar yes. electric vehicles. Uh, and uh, from a blank sheet of paper, yeah. you know, we've, we've gone from the ground up. You know, yes. Uh, trying to, to portray what we think Jaguar's vision is for the future for electric yeah. vehicles. And, uh, and how close would you say the interior on this is to the final version? It's very close. Yeah? It's very close, wow. yeah. Yeah, yeah. We, what we didn't want to do was promise something that we couldn't deliver, you know, um, and people would be really disappointed with that. So it's really important that we, we stay true to our brief and, uh, yes. and give the customer exactly what they're expecting from the Jaguar. Yeah. So obviously with the car being electric, we've got no engine front or back. How has that impacted how things have been designed? Um, well, firstly, it increases the amount of space on the interior. And that's the fundamental difference between this car and a combustion engine It's car. one of the first things I noticed in here. This space is huge. It's yeah, endless. absolutely. And it's got more, sp as much space as the car in the class above, wow. and especially that's in amazing. the rear. Yeah. It's, it's enormous. And you can see when you open a door, when, when, you, when you look through, it's, it's cantilever console. Yeah, you see the flat beautiful. floor all the it's way all through. All the way through. All yeah, the way through. Looks uh, brilliant. And so this car as well is available fairly soon. I've been told it's going to be on the road by 2018. Yeah, middle of 2018. My first few minutes of seeing this car, both out, outside and inside, it's it's such a step forward in just the interior space. When I stepped into it straight away, it didn't feel like a conventional car at all. Now I'm aware we are we are in its concept stage still, but it's really interesting that you were telling me earlier that it's not too far away from its production feel, mm -hmm. and it, it does feel like it can be much more of a sports car than an S. That's good. UV. You know, yeah. it's great. Yeah. You know, it's such a nice well, space. Well, that's achieved its job yeah. then. Absolutely. <laughs> that's yeah. good to hear. Yeah. That's really good now, from hear. my background, I'm sort of, you know, diehard petrol head, yeah. really. Yeah. But this has been one of the, f the few electric cars that I thought, you know what, I can actually see myself in that car, you know, because it uh, looks great. So, oh, that's, top that's, work. Oh, that's brilliant. That's yeah. really good to hear. And that was That was hugely important for us. Yeah. You know, you know, we, we, we could have made this car our first electric vehicle into a sub-brand, for example. Sure, but yeah. Um, our customers don't want that. They want a Jaguar, and, it, and especially on the interior. When you open the door, you've got to go, oh, thank goodness, it's a yeah. Jaguar. But it's a really modern sort of blend of beautiful materials, which they'd expect, authentic yes, course, yeah. open pore veneers, yeah. uh, and then blended with this cutting edge technology. Yeah, it's stunning. So um, if you can get those simplicity to work together, then you're satisfying everything that our customers Absolutely. expect. So. Yeah. All right, Sandy's just hopped out and Matt has just hopped in. And Matt, what's your role? I'm Chief Exterior Designer for Advanced Design Jaguar. So. And you have nailed it. Oh, thanks. <laughs> it looks so good. Thank you. The first thing that I took from this, and I might be right or wrong, but the, the bonnet scoop on the front, was there any design language that came from CX75 at all? Abs that absolutely, did, yeah. I did get yeah, yeah. vibes There's... of that. 
There's little hints of 675 all around the car. The portions of the cabin being cab forward, yeah, being package efficient. Uh, like you say, the scoops on the front. Also, the fender on, on the the, the, front, the front and rear fender. You know, it's got such a great stance. Yeah, I mean, we That's feel awesome. it's right for this kind of this proportion. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. On an F Type, you have the haunch at the back and the long mm -hmm. front fender. Yeah. With this car, with the, the cabin forward, yeah, it really feels right to have these really nice front short front fenders and then the long rear fender. Yes. Which is, Again, a nice hint to the 675. I guess that's a great deal of why it looks so awesome because it, it, it really does feel like a, a compact sports car. Yeah, I mean, we really try to utilize every little yeah. millimeter of this car. All right, let's take this thing for a, a drive again. Obviously, we are still in concept car, so we are taking it steady. So, what would you say has been your biggest challenge? The, cha the challenge really was creating a, you know, it's, it's a really clean piece of paper for us, this car. Mm. So it, it's a massive challenge, but also a massive opportunity for us. So mm. that was the, the biggest thing. We, we had to ensure this car still looked like a Jaguar, mm -hmm. but we wanted it to look very different from the rest of the kind of portfolio of cars we do today, because it is very different. It's got a very different power, mm. power uh, train and everything. So it, it's really important it looked different but still very much a Jaguar. Would you put this through a lot of wind tunnel the thing is, the, There's yeah. two main challenges for this car. That one that was making sure it's still up with Jaguar. The mm -hmm. other thing that's really important is the aerodynamics. We had to work very hard with the, the team right from the start of the car mm. to ensure that this car was inherently uh, aerodynamic. Right, now, I suppose from a point of view of this car being electric, there are some fundamental differences from a petrol engine car, one being no engine. Has that allowed you to do things with the design that you haven't been able to with a more conventional car? Well, for, from the exterior point of view, it's really about that cabin position again. It's really about pushing the occupant forward, gives you a much better driving position. You can see the haunches on the, on the, yeah. on the side that really helps to position the vehicle. And you can get a very aerodynamic profile of the car. This, the screen is very raked at the front. Like say the, sc the scoops on the front of the car help the airflow over the over the glass and through the kind of the, the, the sleek kind of uh, profile, yeah. but it it really helps us to deliver this really unique pr proportion that uh, this this car's got. The one thing that stands out immediately when you see that the lighting architecture on this is really standout. Yeah, I mean that's it's very key. I think that this is over the last few years it's become very important to have a very Mm. Uh, a strong graphic and we kind of started that on the f-type and we've yeah. been trying to develop that kind of uh, philosophy through, uh, through our cars and again this is a great opportunity to move it forward yeah. and update it and, and make it even stronger well so far it looks fantastic so Thanks well done Thank you. okay that was it i know it was incredibly short but incredibly sweet it's the very first time that this car has been driven both of the engineers that I was talking to in there, they haven't even driven this car yet. So I'm incredibly honored. So thank you very much to Jaguar for inviting me down here. This was very quick, literally behind the scenes look at the iPace because Jaguar are also down here doing some filming too. But it was the kind of thing that I just had to share with you because it's not every day that you get to drive an electric concept car. Now, of course, once this car is launched and it'll be on the road soon, no doubt I'll get a full driving experience and I'll be taking you guys along for the ride. Until then, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Ciao.